Meet Apple's newest invention, the Apple Car. Apple is one of the most appealing electronic brands in the world. They're known for their mobile phones and computer accessories. Still, it seems Steve Jobs' founded company finally decided to venture into the already crowded automobile industry. The Apple Electric Car, project codename Titan, is expected to be one of the most technologically advanced cars ever made. Let's take you on a virtual ride aboard this autonomous car and the path to its creation. Hey, before we get into the video, be sure to enter our brand new giveaway. We'll be giving away any of these items. To enter the giveaway, comment the secret keyword in the video, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Oh, and most importantly, watch the whole video. It's that simple. Apple is known to build some of the sleekest electronic devices around town, and they've been doing it for the past couple of decades. From the iPod music players and iTunes services that sped up the digital music age to many more, its most notable product yet, the iPhone, conquered the smartphone market and changed the notion of mobile computing after introducing its Apple Watch. The company is slowly approaching to create a market for wearable devices. When you talk about manufacturing a car, definitely money and workforce becomes an immediate need. Producing a vehicle is not cheap, and setting up a single plant usually costs over $1 billion. It also requires a massive supply chain to have more than 10,000 components needed in a car. The cost of production makes it hard for potential competitors to enter the market. But again, this would be less of a hurdle for the giant California-based tech company. It is reported that the company set aside a whopping $178 billion in cash as of the 27th of December 2014 to actualize their vision. That is more than enough to cater for this ambitious project. The development of the Apple Car is a secret project by Apple with a code name Titan, and it is aimed at replacing the key car. The developers, engineers, and designers are undertaking numerous tedious research with the hope of creating a car that is both luxurious and technologically advanced. In 2014, the project was supposedly approved by Apple CEO Tim Cook and assigned to former Ford engineer Steve Sadesky, who is now the company's vice president. The high-end company is also said to have hired the former president and chief executive of Mercedes-Benz Research and Development, Johan Jungwirth. By the end of February 2015, Apple had hired close to 5,000 employees who were expected to work on this project specifically. Reports also show that the company has been offering incentives to Tesla employees in a bid to lure them to their team. I wouldn't be so sure how Elon Musk felt about this. From its futuristic design, the car resembles more of a minivan than a saloon car, and its production is expected to commence in 2020. The first of its kind to hit the showrooms will be available in black and silver colors. However, in early October 2018, Tim Cook gave surprising new information about the car production project by stating, it would seem like there will be a massive change in that industry. Massive change. You may not agree with that. That's what I think. We will see what we do in the future. I do think that the industry is at an inflection point for massive change. This would mean the importance of growing software cars of the future and the shift from an internal combustion engine to electrification. In mid-April of 2019, rumors spread that Apple was allowed to test the autonomous vehicle on the roads of California. Interestingly, Tim spoke in an interview with Bloomberg TV and said that they were focusing on autonomous systems but not necessarily leading to an actual Apple Car product. This left speculations about Apple's role in the convergence of three disruptive vectors of change, autonomous systems, electric systems, and ride-sharing services. In January 2018, Apple registered 27 self-driving vehicles and partnered with German automobile manufacturers Volkswagen to produce an autonomous employee shuttle van based on the commercial vehicle platform. With 70 self-driving permits, the company concluded that it could not complete this project alone. They decided to outsource partners such as Mercedes, BMW, Nissan, BYD, McLaren Automotive, and Volkswagen. However, only one of these companies chose to partner with Apple, and that is Volkswagen. The deal was for Volkswagen to produce a shuttle van, while Apple would help with the autonomous driving software. Many speculated that an unknown company was attempting to steal this project when one of Apple's former employees leaked trade secrets, which eventually led to the signing of a non-disclosure agreement for all employees. By June 2019, Apple acquired an autonomous vehicle startup 
which manifests that Project Titan is well on course despite rumors of its fall. The company plans to debut the vehicle between 2023 and 2025. So, what could car lovers expect in this sci-fi looking machine? To be honest, not much about the car is in public domain so far. In June 2017, Apple CEO spoke publicly about Apple's work on autonomous driving software. Confirming the company's position is a rare candid moment. Apple is one of the biggest companies known to work in full secrecy. They hardly talk about their upcoming projects until they are ready. Cook said, we are focusing on an autonomous system. It is a core technology that we view as very important. We sort of see it as the mother of AI projects. It's probably one of the most difficult AI projects actually to work on. In February 2015, a mysterious van leased to Apple was spotted driving around the streets in Northern California. The car had a camera rig attached to it with multiple cameras, leading to speculation that Apple was using it to develop a product similar to Google Street View. More outlandish speculation ranged towards the possibility of a self-driving vehicle, but the few people who spotted the van quickly determined it had drivers. Apple later came out to clear the air, claiming that the van was on a mapping mission just days after the van was spotted. An unidentified Apple employee emailed Business Insider suggesting Apple was working on a project that would give Tesla a run for its money. The source also said that Tesla employees were jumping ship to join them in actualizing the project. And as much as the details about this project has remained a divine secret, it is believed that the Apple Cars team explored a wide range of technologies, including silent motorized doors, car interior sand steering wheels or gas pedals, augmented reality displays, and improved litter sensors that protrudes less from the top of the car, but there is no clear vision of the vehicle. And executives disagreed even on significant points, like whether the car should be autonomous or semi-autonomous, leading to delays and internal strife. Apple adjusted the car to focus more heavily on the underlying technology for autonomous vehicles, rather than building an actual automobile. And while initial rumors suggested the company was still developing a car and was continuing to pursue partnerships, later information indicated that work on the actual vehicle had stopped for the time being. But in 2018, the project came to life in full force. And now, it's just a matter of time before we can actually start driving Apple branded cars on the roads. In January 2019, the company cut a total of 200 employees from the autonomous car team. A good number were moved to other departments. Despite the culling of the group, Apple says it continues to believe there is a huge opportunity with autonomous systems and that the remaining team is focusing on working on several key areas for 2019. Internally, employees said the dismissals were not a surprise, but an expected restructuring under the new leadership of Doug Fields. He joined Apple in August 2018 to lead the team alongside Bob Mansfield. In June 2019, Apple purchased Drive.ai, a self-driving vehicle startup that designed a self-driving shuttle service. The company went ahead to hire several Drive.ai employees in the areas of engineering and product design for its own self-driving car products. The company is believed to be operating a secret vehicle research and development lab in Berlin, Germany. The facility is said to employ between 15 and 20 men and women from the German automotive industry all with backgrounds in engineering, software, hardware, and sales. The workers at the lab have been described as progressive thinkers. In 2018, Apple leased a large manufacturing facility in Milpitas, California. It is believed that is where the Titan project will be hatched. Apple is expected to hit the showroom between 2023 and 2025. The loyal customers of the brand are eagerly awaiting to take to the road aboard this technologically astute version of a car. It might as well be the first self-driving car that will be mass-produced. We know the company has what it takes to pull this project off. In your opinion, do you think the project will be a success? So there you have it, Apple's newest invention, the Apple Car. Would you toss out some cash to have it grace your driveway? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, and turn on post notifications.